This is Jason Saltzman with BuildingTheFantasy.com, helping you create, run, and manage the best fantasy leagues possible. If this is your first time watching, hit the subscribe below so you make sure to get all the content. Check me out at BuildingTheFantasy.com, uh, as well as give a like to these videos. There's so much here for you that you will get You will get so much out of this. Your league is going to sky skyrocket uh, in enjoyability or fun. So let's get right to it. This is the League Build Preview. Uh, basically something that I think that is very unique to building the fantasy.com is that we, I have league builds that you're going to come on and you are going to be able to walk through and build a league with me and you can tweak it. It's all tailor made to you, what you want. It can be custom, but I have it nice and clean here built for you. So as you see, this is what a main page or the front page, I guess, of these uh, constitutions would look like. So it's basically the main ingredients uh, and you could get a feel for what the league is like just based off this front page. All of this can be tweaked. There are some things that I let you know through the league build such uh, that should not be tweaked or should only be tweaked under heavy consideration such as let's say in this league here you see it's a two quarterback league you're starting two quarterbacks that means if you have 10 teams there's 20 starter quarterbacks a week well there's only 32 nfl teams meaning there's only 12 bench quarterbacks out there that are still starters so if you have a a 12 or 14 team dynasty league that's two quarterbacks it literally means not everyone could have a third quarterback for their buy and even this way it's still hard to have a, a starting third quarterback although most most teams do and what i what i enjoy about this type of build with a two qb is it makes the quarterback more uh with 20 quarterback starting every week versus 10 or 12 it makes them really valuable you need quarterbacks quarterbacks are valuable and they're valuable in the nfl so it does a much better job versus just having 10 starting quarterbacks now you have guys bench that are very good quarterbacks and not having to be used uh, so i enjoy that but anyhow those are the things where i would definitely make sure to point out that hey you might not want to change this or you have to at least think about it but the buy-in the structure how you want to set up your points uh the 35 man roster again that's for a reason uh, most of these builds have been tested either by uh myself other commissioners in forums these leagues have ran a long time that's another uh, great thing about this league these league builds is that they're all tested and again if nothing else you're going to get ideas they can help you while you build your league they can build they you can build a league along with it however you want however you choose it's up to you but it's such good knowledge it's it's a it's a information from all over that i've gathered for you so you don't have to spend the hours looking at forums or doing research it's all right here in a 10 minute video or in a 30 minute league build you see so this is the, the home page and, and so i'm not going to get into that specific league that'll be for league build you could go check out that league build that is one of them offered here's the mlb keeper league this is also another league build offered and it's it's the same thing this is the front page where you see the the main ingredients of what's going to happen here of how it's going to go so there's a minor league system five keepers generally when you see a keeper or a dynasty uh, it doesn't say off season here in the front but there is going to be a, a slight off season a keeper league the off season is not quite as demanding as a dynasty dynasty league uh but so that you know that is in there as well and as you so we get deeper into it so here's the nba and just so i can show you like here's the keeper setup for this nba league and the regular season so but back getting back to this baseball league you know we just i, I go through it's hard to implement a minor league system it takes years of tweaking to get it right and so with this build you already have a minor league system that's proven to work and have gone through the te it's gone through testing of years and either frustration or how do we fix it or or uh, you know and it's it's not one person deciding how do we fix it this is a group of 10 12 guys in a league that are fantasy vets you know and and a lot of this information also comes from forums and what have they done and how what did they implement and how did it end up working out for them uh so there's just a t and and talking with other commissioners and what do they do in their league uh, uh that that's a lot of that comes in building the fantasy.com's uh podcast uh a great a lot a fountain of uh of just knowledge really because you're you're going to get a lot out of it based on I, I interview other commissioners and ask them you know we walk through what's worked for them in the years what hasn't worked what's been some issues that come up 
you know, how have you solved those? What, what do you give me some advice? Give us some advice. So you might want to check that out. But for the league builds, again, these things are proven. They work. And you can make the tweaks. You can adjust it however you want. You can, if you want to really tweak it up and then have a couple years to figure out the, the best ways for you, I'm all for it. You know, what I mean by that is let's say you make some tweaks and then, you know, after year one, you figure, okay, well, we have to to do this to make this work. That's kind of how you play the game the first few years when creating the league. And that's, again, I, I can't stress enough. These league builds are so helpful because you could just avoid so many problems and everything's just so clean and nice and here. And it's impressive to your owners and your owners appreciate it. And if you ever have to recruit new owners, it's easy to recruit. So here is the one we'll dive a little deeper into the dynasty NBA fantasy league. So again, the number of teams you're buying all adjustable. It's a head to head league. If you don't know what that means, you'll be each owner will be paired up against an opponent every week. I believe NBA is a 20-week NBA regular season, and you're going to go up against this other owner, and it's eight categories. So if you outscore them in seven categories, you have 50 rebounds, they have 45 rebounds for the week, you win that category, you're 1-0. and If you win uh, all eight categories for the week, you go 8-0. and If you split the categories with the person you're playing... Uh, four and four for the week, you know, and so on. Five and three, three and five, and this happens for twenty weeks, and and then you have a playoffs. Uh, so it shows your roster, nine starters. This is a keeper league. There's an auction draft. That auction draft is important. I would we would go over this in the league build because it's that auction draft now sets a price for each player. And when you keep that player uh, in the off season, so it, the salary increases by seven dollars. Well, that salary was set by what they went for in the auction, uh, and and that's a really good barometer because that's what everyone bid so it's a perfect way to set their salary and now if you want to keep said player so let's say you got uh just hypothetically lebron james for 40 dollars okay it's a 260 dollar salary cap going in the draft who knows what he goes for? let's just call it 40 dollars so year two or after season one you have to decide your keepers if you want to keep lebron it's going to cost you 47 dollars and then come the next year's draft that would be deducted from your salary cap of 260 going into the draft uh, and every year you keep a guy at seven dollars. This way we get some turnover. It's not uh, uh, this way we can get uh, some turnover in the league. Uh, but you can keep guys for up to five seasons, and you can keep up to seven players. So that's a ha- you only have nine starters. That's almost the whole roster. Uh, so just this is again just a taste of what this is going to look like. It's clean. It's pretty. You're going to want to check these out. Uh, I put a lot of time, effort, and love. And again, they're. Uh, they're proven. These these are these are set up to where they've worked, you know, and they didn't work, and and it took a lot of effort and energy and time and reading and what has worked, you know. Uh, this is by personal experience, but also by others experiences again those commissioners or those forums that are just that's really how you get the great information but it takes a lot you got to do a lot of digging to find out and a lot of reading and and adjusting uh category so you're going to go over categories you're going to go over the starters uh what your bench looks like and then then we'll you know it'll be real clean and easy so everyone can understand because keepers set up and dynasty set up all this can be confusing so if it's nice and clean just like this well now your owners it's easier to explain to them and sometimes they can just figure it out by looking at this and if you do have to as a commissioner if you are going to explain to an owner well now it's a lot easier to explain it to them because you have this a, a nice uh visual to go along with it and it's spelled out uh, as an outline and uh so as you see rookies are handled a certain way there's a luxury tax if you go over the salary cap which involves real money again you don't want to involve a luxury tax with, that someone could go over you just x that idea out I, I, it's all yours that's another point of these builds is that you know, websites offer leagues, but they don't do a good job with the leagues they offer, and they take 30, 40, 25% of the buy in, a hefty portion. And so, if you can create your own league that's way more fun and, and better than what is out there to offer, and the whole buy in goes back, you know, that's what I'm trying to provide because that, that's, that's the way it should be. Uh, so, you have a regular, you're going to go over how the regular season works, the, the free agency, your, your, the head-to-head uh, trade deadline. It's spelled out what is tradable assets. So the players on the roster, your draft picks from the upcoming draft, and then free agent bu- uh, budget money, aka cash considerations. Uh, this can be con- uh, used for free agency acquisitions. So and it's it's bam. This is what you can trade. Um, 
four to six teams make the playoffs up to you constellation bracket determines exactly what how do we design the schedule we get into it all the regular season scoring system dive deeper into the categories what categories maybe there's eight listed here but maybe uh you want different categories and we will go over some ones that you can adjust uh, maybe instead of three pointers made you want three point per, uh, percentage instead of you know, there's a lot of options. So it's all gone over in these league builds. We dive deep into it. I'm not going to say you have to do it one way. I want to give you options. Off season, there's a, this is one of my favorite parts about this league, the restricted free agent period. You can make one offer to any player under $15. So the off season starts with, let's say, oh, uh, for Luka Doncic, let's just go with someone here. And, uh, he was seven dollars, so he cost less than fifteen. He was bid for seven dollars. So now it's the offseason. He's probably going to get several bids in this restricted free agent period, uh, but you only get one offer, so you got to remember that too. So you make the offer for uh, thirty-five dollars. Well, now the second part of the offseason is uh, whoever owns Doncic now gets told, "Hey, there was a bid on him for thirty-five. You can match it or let him go." And that's up to you. And that is extremely fun and the closest thing you'll ever get to being an NBA GM uh, that you can. And so then you select your seven keepers on top, you know. So if you match the offer plus maybe six more guys or maybe you only want to keep four, then we have a, a rookie draft, which is two rounds, your free agent draft minus that money, uh, and, and and so on. And we go through payouts and how do you want to pay it out, what's the, fair, what, what's the most fair way to pay out. Uh, pay out the money uh, do we want bonuses or it's fun to have a weekly bonus sometimes or a bonus if your guy does maybe the scoring champ or the rebound champ or whatever the case uh, get, get some money flowing out there dynasty bonus we'll, we go into it all on these league builds what dynasty bonus can be offered how do you implement a dynasty bonus all on these league builds the league builds will also include some of these forums where all this stuff can and more can be found and where some of this research was found like I said it's an all just not personal experience a lot of this was researched and found through others experience this is years tens uh, decades worth of knowledge here in these league builds that are set up for you to have have a great successful extremely fun fantasy experience so what to do next check out the league builds of course but prior to that uh check out the building the league basic videos fantasy league basics they go over things like draft type host sites uh what's the difference between a keeper and dynasty league is a redraft league right for you uh also there's a owners who and how video uh and there's a, um also a, some good content on the website for that uh i do believe strongly a league is only as good as its owners and if commissioner can empower that or understand that you're gonna have a great league uh also you can go over to sports specifics if you're ready for that that has everything such as it, they're deep dives into certain questions such as three point percentage or three point made or such as in baseball wins or quality starts or in football how do you want to ha handle your idp scoring uh would, should you have a kicker in your league what are the pros and cons how can you compromise uh, there's just so much information uh building the fantasy.com uh, again i i created it with uh in mind to fill a void in our fantasy community there's no place like this that uh offers just everything to make your league to build your league create your league run your league make it to a better uh to manage your league to give it improvements to get get you thinking and uh so again build the fantasy.com create run manage the best fantasy leagues possible yeah, go check out league builds uh i'm jason saltzman Hi guys, real life Peter Griffin here. You know what really grinds my gears? A poor constructed fantasy league. Continue to tune in and thanks for watching. Buildingthefantasy.com. Eh.